Yeah, I'd like to mention too now that we have a representative from the Minority Business Development Agency here that came from Washington, D.C. because he has a few words to share with everyone here. Hoden Hofnagel, please. Thank you, Michael. So on behalf of the Minority Business Development Agency National Director David Henson and Deputy Director Alejandro Castillo, I'm very pleased to be here and, um, to, and very, we're very proud of uh, Asian Inc. I wanted to also recognize Otis Turner and Salvador Enriquez and Bernice Martinez, a part of the MBDA family. Um, so as the Chief of the Office of Business Development, I wear two different hats. One is to oversee our Office of um, Business Development, our Business Development Specialists throughout the country who help minority businesses um, with access to capital, access to contracts, and access to new markets. The second hat is to oversee our national network of 40 MBDA business centers throughout the United States and collaborating with our business centers on the performance is my number one focus. So I wanted to uh, read a couple numbers. In fiscal year 2011, MBDA's national network of 40 MBDA business centers facilitated over $3.9 billion in contracts and capital for minority businesses and created close to 6,000 new jobs. As you know, Asian Inc. operates the San Jose MBDA Business Center. And for the last two years, I've joined my, my staff on the annual on-site visit and very clearly, this is one of the best-run centers in the country. I wanted to read their specific numbers for last year. Asian Inc. and the San Jose MBDA Business Center achieved over 58 million in contracts last year, 32 million in financial transactions for minority businesses, and they created over 200 new jobs and helped retain over 275 jobs in a struggling economy. And if you count all their performance measures, they achieved 120 percent of their goal. Um, so a special thank you to Alejandro Cerruto and your staff. Um, we're proud not only of your achievement and your performance goals, but the way you, you serve your community. Um, Alejandro is such an important part of our, our family of centers across the country that we actually invited him this week to help us with our strategic planning in Washington, D.C. So I know you've been very busy this week. So I will also say that MBDA is very committed to working with Michael Chan and Asian Inc. in the future. Um, this week, in fact, tonight we're announcing, you've heard about the Fresno MBDA Business Center. Um, we had administrative savings for fiscal year 2012, and we decided to um, use these funds um, in our core program. Um, I've been visiting centers around the country over the last year, and I decided that this is uh, with you know, Director Henson, um, signing off that this is a, a perfect place to add additional funds. Um, so we announced tonight that we're funding an additional 150000 um, for the San Jose Business Center to set up a satellite office here in San Francisco for the next year. So you heard a couple times tonight about the Fresno MBDA Business Center, and I will say that it was a, a competition. Um, we competed it uh, across California in many different cities. There were several applicants, and so it was a fair competition. The top score was Asian Inc., but I will tell you we were very pleased. Um, they run the San Jose Business Center very well, and we're confident um, with a presence now in San Francisco, in Oakland, in San Jose, and Fresno that they'll continue to serve the minority business community. So I thank you, Asian Inc., and I also thank um, all the minority businesses and other federal, state, and local partners here for what you do for the minority business community. Thank you very much.